San Mateo, six day without a mayor. A city council member is ready to fill the role, but her appointment is being blocked thanks to the two newest members on the council. They say they just need more time, but the would be mayor says it's a power grab. Don Lynn talked to both sides tonight to see where they go from here. Some call it a power grab, others even call it an insurrection. Whatever you want to call it, it's left San Mateo without a mayor. Nominate. Councilmember Lee to be mayor. This past Monday, December 5th, the San Mateo City Council was supposed to elect Councilwoman Amarins Lee to be the next mayor. They have a rotational system where the most senior council member is selected mayor. It's a 128 year old tradition, and Lee would have been the first Asian American mayor in San Mateo. But two brand new council members sworn in that evening blocked a nomination. I believe that we are in unchartered and very dangerous territory. And I absolutely believe that this is sowing seeds of division and strife that will take years to repair. And I've heard from so many of my community members, including the API and the Jews community members, who feel incredibly cheated. We're told to wait our turn, and then that turn doesn't come. Councilwoman Lee doesn't want to speculate on the motive, but some elected leaders in the county and neighboring cities criticize the block. I feel embarrassed for our city, and I feel sad and scared uh, for the precedent that this is setting. The council Lisa Diaz Nash is one of the two council members who blocked it. Is there beef between you two? No. I mean, Councilmember Lee and I have worked together before. She supports many of the same issues that I support, and she is a very capable woman. And once we select that fifth council member, then we can turn to having all five of them select the mayor and deputy mayor. And at that point, I look forward to proudly voting for council member Lee as our next mayor. Oh, and you do intend, sounds like you do intend to Absolutely. as the next mayor. Absolutely. The fifth council member just vacated her seat after she was elected to the California Assembly. Exactly. The remaining four council members are all Democrats, but they don't agree on some issues, like housing. Political experts believe that fifth council member will serve as a tiebreaker on the council and will shape future policies. They say if the council had elected Lee as the mayor back on Monday, she would have had more power to pick an ally to serve as that fifth council member. We are in an unprecedented time, and the council is working on getting that fifth member. And as soon as we get that fifth member, we will select the mayor and the deputy mayor. So I don't see this as an embarrassment at all. Experts say there's a balance of political power on the San Mateo City Council. 2-2. Two, two. The four-person council plans to select a fifth council member on Monday and then the mayor. At City Hall, I'm Da Lin, KPIX 5.